Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you sent Jesus to die for us. We thank you that you sent your Holy Spirit to be a helper for us. Please help us to grow, to become more like Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord smile down on you and show you his kindness. May the Lord answer your prayers and give you peace. Thank you for coming with us today. We hope that you have a good understanding now of what Pentecost is and why it is important to remember it. Please look at your teachers and have a wonderful day. And the Holy Spirit who helps and guides us. Please stand as we sing together. We would like to teach you what we have learned about Pentecost, where and when it happened, what it is and why it happened. To help explain, we would like you to watch this video. Pentecost happened 50 days after Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus had already gone back to heaven and the new Christians were waiting for the Holy Spirit to come back to come to come because this is what Jesus told them. Pentecost was a special day to to celebrate the great harvest. The people would offer loaves of bread and thanks to the Lord as thanking him for the weather and good crops. On this day, Jesus' disciples and other Christians were gathered together to thank God and suddenly a sound like the blowing wind of a strong wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. Next, they saw tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. I'm not sure if they could see the tongues of fire or if it's how the people felt could explain what they felt happening. When the tongues of fire came, they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in different languages. tongues of fire to explain the way they were speaking and the fire was a way to describe the Holy Spirit. Either way, they all got pretty excited and things got a bit noisy. The Bible says that there were people of, of many different nationalities saying in Jerusalem from all over the many of them speak in different languages. These people went over to see what all the noise was about and were, were surprised to hear their own languages spoken. It was no surprise that the crowd had gathered to check out what was happening thought that there wasn't something special happening. After all, they weren't there when the Holy Spirit came to them. So some of the crowd started making fun of them and started to think that they had too much wine and it was making them act funny. When Peter started to hear these rumors, he raised his voice and talked to the crowd. He explained that they weren't drinking wine because it was only nine in the morning. People usually drink orange juice or coffee that early in the morning. Plus, the people who were celebrating 
Pentecostal he will drink to at least 10 in the morning. He explained that Joel, a messenger of God's word, and that this very thing would happen a long time ago. God usually would tell a prophet when something important was going to happen way before it actually happened. Just like the Bible told us a Saviour Jesus was going to come and save us long before Jesus was even born. When Peter started Peter explained that they should repent, say their sorry, and stop doing bad things, and be baptized so that others would know that they believed in God and were trying to change. Now, because of Jesus' death and his resurrection, people can be forgiven and receive the Holy Spirit from now on. means we replace the Holy Spirit when we up to grant Christ or become Christians. The word Christian means Christ in us. The spirit thinks about having the Holy Spirit is that God never leaves us so we can talk to him or ask for help anytime. The Holy Spirit actually helps us in many ways. He comforts, teaches, helps us grow in our relationship with God and gives us strength to get rid of the bad habits in our lives. He also gives us power and helps us know when we've done something wrong. The Pentecost was super special for the disciples and special for us even now because that was the start of us raising the Holy Spirit and being able to ask for forgiveness. Have a look at this clip that talks about how the Holy Spirit 